I've recently purchased a new TV for my bedroom. It's a Samsung 40 inch. It's uh, one of those HD, you know, like the 4K TVs. I mean, nothing crazy, but you know, with the 4K TV, the picture is great, but you know that the, the real thin TVs, the sound leaves a lot to be desired. So it's been about six months and you know, I think watching TV shows in a small bedroom, not a big deal with the, you know, with the TV sound itself. But once you start watching movies with soundtracks and special effects, you know, you, I wanted to upgrade the sound a little bit. Now, the problem with it is, if you look, I have a very small TV stand. I mean, the 40-inch TV kind of hangs over a little bit on the side. So I didn't want anything that was going to be a tremendous, you know, long sound bar. And most of them are about three feet long, you know, like about 36, 37 inches long. And they come with, you know, subwoofers and things like that. I have a pretty small bedroom, so I didn't really need anything like that. I just needed something that's going to enhance the sound a bit, make it a little bit more fuller, a little bit, you know, more cinematic and things like that. So what I did was I purchased the Bose Solo 5 because it's the smallest sound bar I found that actually sounded pretty good. Uh, the whole thing measures about 21 inches across. So, so you can see the box and then the actual Solo five is right under the box. So let me just move this box and let me show you exactly what comes in the box. So, all right, so let me show you, this is the Bolus Soundbar Solo five. It's decently heavy. I mean, it's definitely a solid piece of equipment, but it's, you know, it's kind of small. It fits right nice and neat underneath my Samsung, you know, 40 inch TV. And if it's right on my stand, which is one of the main things I got this particular soundbar. Uh, the other thing that comes in the box is you get a plug and you get an optical cable. So I highly recommend if you have an optical out on your TV to use the optical cable. But the one thing that sets this apart from a lot of other sound bars, let me show you. This is the remote control that comes with the Bose Solo 5. It's a fully programmable remote control and it really is like a real remote control. I have another soundbar on, on a TV that has, it kind of is like a credit card sized remote control that has, you know, like a maybe volume up and down. And this is, you know, I mean, compare that to this, this is like a real remote control that literally I have everything in my bedroom programmed to it. So I have the TV, I have the cable box, I have a Sony Blu-ray player that's there. Um, this one here says game and auxiliary. So I have a Roku box, which I use under the game. I guess I could have used it under their auxiliary if I had like a game system, but I don't have a game system here. And all you do really to program this remote control, you hold down the source, and then um, I think if you hold it down for a few seconds, they all blink. So if I, I don't have anything on the auxiliary, so let me just hold this down. So if you hold it down, see now all six are light up, and then you just program in. It comes with a book, and like say it's, um, you know, it's like a four digit code or a five digit code. There's a book that comes with the bows and you put it in for like, okay, Sony Blu-ray player. And then you'd say, okay, I think you hit volume up once and then you hit exit and it works. Um, you know, and then that's it, it's programmed in. So since I don't have that, um, anything in auxiliary, I just figured I'll show you with that. Just to say I want to turn the TV on, I would hit TV and then I would hit source. Hey, let me exit out of that. I'd hit the TV, it would light up. Then I would hit source power and then I would turn the TV on. Then I would hit the cable box and hit source cable. And then if I want to turn on the actual Bose, I would just click this middle button here. I'd like to show you how that sounds, but I don't know with this camera's you know, microphone and what you're listening on, if it's going to make a humongous difference. But I'll try to set up a little demo so I can show you the difference between the TV remote, uh, the TV speakers, and then the Bose. The other thing that's really cool is uh, you could pair up to, I think, eight devices uh, with Bluetooth here. So here I have the Bluetooth button. And, you know, once you find a device, like I say, I paired it up on my iPhone and then I could play like once I select Bluetooth, I could just play music or something right from the iPhone or YouTube video, whatever it is. And it'll come out, you know, from the uh, the Bose speaker. So that's really nice. Like if you just want to put some music on, if you're cleaning in your room and you don't want to have another stereo or something like that, you know, you just basically could play Bluetooth right out of, I think, up to eight devices. So it could have like an iPad, you could have a computer, whatever it is. It's, you know, like a separate Bluetooth speaker. So, you know, that kind of couples as that. So let me get a sample of the sound and see if you could hear the difference. Uh, I don't know if the camera microphone is going to do it justice, but you got to believe me when I say it makes a big difference when you're listening to m movies 
with music and sound effects and even vocals. It also has this little vocal button here. That's if you want, it's called, I think, a dialogue button. So if you want to really increase the dialogue of, you know, like a TV show, because sometimes, you know, the dialogue is hard to hear. This button will actually help like, increase that. And it also has a bass button. You hit the bass, you go up a little bit or down with the bass. Uh, and it has all your basic remote controls. Like, so say my cable box has a DVR, so you can click the DVR. Um, you know, it has like the red button. So say like, I use Verizon. So for me to get to the HD channel, it's like hit the red C. And so if I hit the red button here, you know, it acts as if it's like that red Verizon button. So it's, I mean, it's really does everything. So I don't have to have like three or four remotes anymore, you know, because I had one for the um, Blu-ray player. I had one for the cable and that, you know, I also had the TV with that one. And then I had one with the Roku so that this kind of makes up for those three. And then if I added a soundbar that had one of those credit card size remotes, I'd have four remote controls. So that's, I mean, this is, I can't talk enough about this remote. It really is, you know, in my home theater, I have a, a Harmony programmable remote. This is almost like a mini Harmony remote because it's so easy to program and you could control up to five different pieces of equipment. All right, so let me um, put the TV on and let me see if you could hear the difference in sound. Um, you got to believe me, you can, but hopefully that the microphone on this will let you hear it. Okay, so I just put on a music channel just to listen to a little bit of music. I don't want to get into any weird copyright infringement. So I'm just going to put a couple seconds of music on just so you can hopefully hear the difference. First, I'm going to put the TV on, on volume 20, which volume 20 is um, about what I would listen to, like a TV show or a movie in my bedroom. You know, just, it's loud enough to hear. I mean, it's not blasting, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's loud enough. So this is the, the TV on, um, just the TV only. Let's listen. put the bows on. Again, TV only. And now bows. So you can hear it's not tremendous bass coming out of it, but it's like a fuller sound and it's really good with dialogue and things like that. So I think all in all, it's it's really it's it's for my needs in a small room with a small TV and a small TV stand the Bose Solo 5 is definitely a decent decent soundbar it's definitely you know serving its purpose for me i'll put a link to this in the description if you want to check it out and you know feel free to ask me any questions in the comments i'll talk to you later thanks